Hello everybody, here's Country Music News International. I'm Crystal Lamichka and today on the show we have the lovely Jenny Tolman. Jenny, it's your first time here on Country Music News International. Can you please introduce yourself to our listeners and readers? Yes, I am Jenny Tolman and I am a native Nashvillian country music singer. Okay, our first Nashville girl here on Country Music News International, folks. Um, how did you find your way to country music? You know, I always grew up around it because my dad actually moved to Nashville to be in the business as well. He was a singer back in the day, so I was lucky enough to grow up around music and around Music Row, and it was just kind of in my blood my whole life. And when I got a guitar for my 16th birthday, it kind of all came together, and I decided I could be Taylor Swift. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a big goal. Um, by the way, your daddy didn't say, hey, sweetie, you're really sure you want to do that? Oh, he tried a couple times. <laughs> But he's on the bandwagon now. He's, he's really supportive and, and really excited for me. Both my parents are. So, what differentiates you that's unique you to other artists here in town? You know, right now, country music has a lot of pop influences in it and even R&B and there's there's lots of mixed genres in it and my music is more traditional sounding more classic country but it also has like a fresh classic feel to it so you'll hear steel guitars and fiddles and all that good stuff on my music so do you write your songs by yourself or do you co-wrote I do both There's a, on the record that I'm working on right now, they're all written by me, but some of them are co-writes and some of them are solo writes. I definitely started out solo writing more, and it took me a while to get into co-writing, but once you kind of get into the groove of it, it's a lot more fun than writing by yourself, especially if you find the right people that you mesh well with. So far, do you have an idea how many songs you want to pack on the CD? Yeah, there's actually, there's 10 on the CD. So, can you tell us at the moment something about the songs you picked up? Yeah, well, the album is called Jennyville, and it's kind of, it's based off of this imaginary town in my mind that I go to when I write. And so, in this town, you can really say anything that you want because there's all these crazy characters that you can create stories around and narratives, and I'm not necessarily the one that's saying these things, but I'm stepping into that role, so it's a lot of fun. There's Lots of funny stories, I love to pit, make people laugh, and then there's like true heart stories as well, so it's a lot of fun. How it is to be in the spotlight of the audience? How is Or it? Public. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Well, I think it's such a special experience to be able to be the person that is connecting with the whole rest of the room and relating to those people and giving them energy and making them feel like they're understood and making them laugh and all of that. It's such a special thing. Do the fans give you the space to make a living? Do they give me the space? Yes. That as an example, when you go to the grocery store, that they don't come to you and say, okay, can we do a photo? Can we oh go gosh, together no. shopping? Paparazzi's everywhere. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm just kidding. No, not yet. Nashville's pretty good about not having swarms of people around you. So I think we're so, good. What can people expect to see when they visit one of your concerts? Uh, well, I hope they can expect to laugh because I'm definitely somebody that likes to to kind of kick you, kick you and catch you off guard a little bit and make you laugh. Um, so definitely that, and we're just having a good time. Like my band that that backs me, they're such good musicians. So definitely be ready to see great musicianship, musicianship as well. And uh, we're just we're such a family up there. So it's just a lot of fun. Can you remember your first concert? My first concert was Hannah Montana meets Miley Cyrus <laughs> when, when Miley was trying to break out of her Hannah Montana role. So that was a lot of fun too. It was, the Jonas Brothers were her opener. So it was quite a Disney Channel reunion for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what changed in your life since you playing music? Oh gosh, well music has been in my life forever, so it's, it's hard to say that anything's changed because it's just always been evolving. You know, when I was little, I started playing piano by ear when I was three. I would come home from church and just 
pick out the notes that we had just sang in, in whatever hymn we were singing. And I've always sang, and it just kind of developed into, I guess this is what I'm going to do, because it's all that I do <laughs> all the time. So when you have the choice to pick up one artist of your favorite um, for a duet? Oh, I would probably choose Dolly Parton. She's, <laughs> she's one of my, my huge idols. I just think she does such a good job at creating characters and making people laugh, but also having this really uh, deep, meaningful side to her as well. And she's just an icon. And one day I want to have a theme park called Jennyville, just like she has Dollywood. <laughs> What are you doing here in your spare time? I do pole dancing. Yeah. I do pole dancing. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a, become a, a huge hobby of mine. It's really empowering. It's a great workout. Um, it's such a fun community to be around. Actually, just before this interview, I was at my pole class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what's the best way now for fans um, to keep up to date with you? Um, my website is jennytolman.com and I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. If you just search at Jenny Tolman, it'll pop right up. So folks, you know what to do if you want to meet Jenny um, or you stay here on Country Music News International. Uh, you sign up with our newsletter. We will keep you up to date daily. Um, so have a great day and we hope to see you soon.